hello and welcome to one of the last soma sessions we're going to be doing during lockdown because we're going back to reality next week which is good to know it's going to be very basic what we're going to learn in this taster class today so if you guys want to know any more science about it or if you want to go deeper onto your soma journey contact me afterwards because i'll be doing more rounds and a more enhanced session um, next week Right, so for those of you that haven't done SOMA before guys, the process of this breathing exercise is I'm going to take you through three rounds of rhythmic breathing today. It's all going to be done with guided music, which I have specially created for full brain activation during the process. And if you really just allow yourself to connect with the music and the vibrations in the body during this breathing exercise, it's going to take you on a journey out of the mind and somewhere into complete euphoria. So just really go with it. It's normal that you're going to find tingling around the body. Sometimes you may even experience pins and needles. I've even experienced muscle cramps and things like this before, guys. Just know that it's nothing to worry about, okay? We're literally healing the body massively during this session. We're working with the parasympathetic nervous system. We're putting the body into rest and digest. And we're also activating an intermittent hypoxic environment in the body which can eventually start to lead, uh, circulate stem cells around the body, which is known to regenerate entire organs and things like this. It gets very deep on the human biology, the chemistry of our physiology. We've been misled into thinking we can't heal ourselves, but actually we have got the innate capacity to heal ourselves on a cellular level. So this is what we're doing through these breathing exercises. We're calming the mind down, but we're also energizing at the same time. We're healing the body for training even. If you guys are training, you want to do this breathing exercise before training, you're going to get more out of your performance, more out of your stand up, your endurance, etc. So throughout these rounds today, it's going to be rhythmic breathing. In the first round, we're going to breathe in for two and out for four. The next two rounds, we're going to breathe in for two, out for two. We're going to... And then we're going to breathe all the way up. And this is the point that we just hold. You want to hold the lungs empty as long as possible, guys. And even if that's for as little as 10 seconds today, just know that that's progress. Don't push, okay? It's all about respecting the journey and pacing yourself with it. We don't want to force at any point, guys. So we're going to hold the lungs empty for as long as possible. But we are going to hear a little voice in the head that says, quick, quick, I need to breathe. When you hear that voice, just try to push past the first voice, okay? Just a little bit. When you really need to, you're going to take a deep, full in-breath and hold that for 15 seconds. We need to hold the in-breath to rebalance the O2 in the system after holding the lungs empty for such a long time, okay? And then you're just going to return to your normal breathing before coming into the next guided round. Remember, we want to keep this process in through the nose, out through the mouth as much as possible to really let go to the breath. Keep the hand on the stomach if you need to, to remind yourself to inflate the belly. Every time you exhale, letting go of a little bit more tension and stress in the body. Feel every muscle relax. Um, and also guys, if you wouldn't mind writing a review on my Facebook page at some point, that would be lovely because I've got so many inbox messages, but quite hard condensing them all. I'm not very good with computer stuff apparently.